a few meat plants have like closed down because of coronavirus worrying about a shortage of meat everybody went and panic bought all the meat so now there is a shortage of meat we wanted to try something different but there's a cat the plan is we're making dinner for my dad and Grace tonight and we told him we're gonna make barbecue sliders But what they don't know is that we're gonna use vegan meat, non-meat, fake meat, vegetarian meat, faux meat, vegetable based meat Veggie based. Is there any other things we could call them? Beyond meats. Well, let's take a look. Got our slider rolls here. Meatless beef style crumbles. Meatless chicken style breasts. Young green jackfruit, which I'm told as a consistency of like pulled pork. We've never tried this. The plan is we're gonna disguise this stuff before we bring it over to my dad's house so they don't know that it's plant-based meats. This is gonna be good. We're gonna see if they notice. I don't think they will. I think they'll know that there's something different but they won't be able to put their fingers on it. I think it's gonna be a big surprise. This stuff was in stock. Not a lot of meat was. This is the game plan. Telly read the directions on how to cook the jackfruit. Open up the jackfruit. We're draining the jackfruit. Can you eat it like this? We're not gonna try. It's young jackfruit, which is supposed to be like... Adolescent. Not ripe yet. A little bit of olive oil. Looks like tuna. We have to come up with a good lie to tell them why we have this food brought over already, why we didn't just make it at my dad's house. Maybe something about... COVID-19? No, do something about like how we did a video on it. Okay. Patting it dry. Still looks like tuna. Partially shred the chunks into smaller pieces as you cook it, it'll shred more. It's just like actual pork. Then saute in a pan with olive oil over medium heat, occasionally pulling the jackfruit apart as it becomes tender. Three tablespoons of water. Adding the barbecue sauce and a little bit of water. Stir that all up. It's starting to look like pulled pork. A little bit. And I said simmer on medium heat for 20 minutes or so. Do we cover it? I don't think so. I think we should cover it. Yeah, cover pan. You're right. Wait, say that again? You're right, Ryan. Looks like me. It does. Well, what kind of sauce would we put for Sloppy Joe's? Big beef doesn't have animal fat. We're going to start off with a little bit of olive oil and then put the faux beef in there. This is my weapon. Worcestershire sauce, tomato sauce, ketchup, brown sugar, and apple cider vinegar all together and this we're gonna simmer for about 15 minutes okay, put the cover on. Ooh, looks a little like sloppy joe it does fake pork fake beef fake chicken all plant-based that's like the trifecta and i was actually thinking maybe we should put them all together like almost like a sunday sauce with barbecue but i don't think that's what we're gonna do today we'll try that another time another video almost like pulled chicken except for look at that they got grill marks and everything so you're thinking pulled apart like the pork or what? Because I don't think they're gonna pull apart like that. No, chunks. Chunks, but- Sliced chunks. Sliced chunks. Why don't you show me? Like that, and then, you know, cut this guy like that. I haven't discovered the best way to cut this yet, but I'm going to. Bam, bam, bam. Bite-sized chunks. The jackfruit should be finished, so. Looks like pulled pork. It does. It tastes good, but the consistency feels like biting into fruit. So let's cook it a little bit longer and see if it softens up. Sounds good. Here's the fake chicken. Does not taste like fake chicken. I mean, does not taste like chicken. It tastes like fake chicken. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. A little spongy. I think we can do it. I think- the chicken? I think a little bit of barbecue sauce and we'll be all set. This is a Sloppy Joe's? Yep. I want it. Yeah, I can see that passing. Ha! Oh good! It's not bad at all. It's pretty good. Okay everybody, that's how to prepare plant-based vegetarian barbecue. To see how it came out, watch the previous episode, which is part two of this one. But it came before, because we did it that way for some reason. I think it works. So check out Quarantine Day 57 to find out how it came out. Thank you. Please subscribe, watch, like, share, comment. Also, remember to check in on your loved ones, support local business, and wash your hands. I love you and I miss you.